Hello, welcome back to another Flutter tutorial. In this video, I will be showing some quick Flutter coding tips and tricks. So let's start with our first one. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to dismiss the keyboard when we click outside a text field. So for that, I am going to write a function module one and that will return a container and that has a column child and and text field inside the column so let's add that to the UI now we have the text field but when we click outside the text field the, dismiss, the keyboard is not dismissed right so to dismiss the keyboard we are going to add a gesture detector around the container and give the behavior property to fit test behavior dot opaque then I'm going to call on tap on the gesture detector and inside that I'm going to call focus scope dot of context request focus to a new focus node. Alright, so let's see if that is working. It outside the text field, so keyboard is just dismissed. So that's working. So let's go on to the next one. So I'm going to create another function body view. Then it will return a container. And we are going to give the color property for the container. Let's say color dot from so RGBO O is opacity. So black with opacity of 0.5. And let's add that to the UI. So now it became gray. Alright, so let's see another way to do this. You can give the hex color as well. So return container with a color color with a value let's give a hex value ff 4286f4 okay so that's a blue color now if you want to give the opacity for this uh, we'll call dot with opacity you can call any of those with alpha or so opacity is working all right let's go on to the next one so i'm going to write a new function body 3 and that will also return a container and the color will be colors dot orange accent so we are going to give a splash feedback whenever the user clicks on this container okay wherever the user clicks so for that we are going to add a new material widget as a child of the container and the material widget will have an inkwell widget as a child and the splash color so i'm going to give colors.white with opacity 0.2 and on tap and just say it's a printing selected and the child will be a new text which will say hello Okay, let's add that to the UI. So now we have our widget. So wherever you click, you'll see that splash. All right, so that's a nice feedback to the user. Okay, let's go on to the next one. So I'm going to write a new function body four. So that will also return a container with height say 40 and padding, let's say 20. And margin also 30 and I'm going to give a box decoration so we are going to create a container with a rounded corner so the color will be green and let's add the border radius so border radius dot all with the radius dot circular 5 so this will create a rounded corner rectangle so let's add that to the UI and run the app. There we have our rounded corner container. Now for the next step, I'm going to create a new image URL. So I have the image URL already copied. So let's initialize to do that. And let's go back to our body4 method. I'm going to copy the body4 and rename it to 5 and change the height to 300 and 
get the 250 and I'm going to remove the border radius dot all to and replace it with border radius dot circular all right and I'm going to give the image the decoration image and with the image URL and box width dot fill so let's run that now we have our container with the image but we can see the decoration all right so let's add that inside a container and give the container a color so now we have the container with the green color and the rounded corner image so now we can see the another way to do this so that is with the help of clip oval clip oval with the child image dot network with the image url and fit will be box fit dot fill i'm going to give a width of 200 and a height of 200 all right so let's add that to the ui okay run that so you can see the rounded image okay now let's see what is another way to do this so body 7 with a height of uh, 300 and width of 200 I create a container with a child circle avatar with a radius of 100 and the background image that will be a new network image with the image url all right let's add that and see what happens okay there we have our image so the next step will be uh, we are going to create a list view with a custom divider so for that i'm going to create a new function body 8 uh, called list view dot separated the separated builder that will take a context and an index and that will return the separator so i'm going to give a divider with it with the color black and number of items will be 25 and the item builder will also take the context and the index and that will create uh, the widget for the row so that will be a new padding with the center widget and a text the text will say index with the index value okay now let's run this so for that we need to add to the ui I forgot to give the padding for the padding widget so let's add that now we have the list view now let's change the separator to a text that will say separator so the, the text now became the separator all right so you can have any widget there now let's go to the next and final tip for that I am Copying our image URL and removing the initialization. And now in the build method, I'm checking if the image URL is equal to null. If it is null, I am initializing with the copied URL. And so we have another way to do the same thing. So this is a way to do that. So these are called null aware operators. So this is a shorthand. Okay, so that was a small tip. Hope uh, this will be useful. So that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Also hit the bell icon for notifications. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.